Good Tuesday morning. Oh, it's about quarter after eight. Got up at six thirty. Uh, well, I got all that uh wire ran through the stripper and hand peeled, so that's all in there. So that's done. Add a little bit more to this. I was uh cleaning all this up so I'm gonna finish this up today this is a mix of bear braid number two um, around one o'clock I got the U-Haul coming for my board sort trip tomorrow so I gotta get that loaded up which is gonna be a pain in the butt to do by myself but I'll get it done take my time that's why I rent the truck a, uh, a day ahead of time <coughs> so I wonder how many times It'll take for Ian Matthew to lose his mind if I just walk around this shelving unit. What do you think? Probably twice? I think I already did it twice, really. I just came over here to get my egg sandwich. <coughs> but we'll finish. We'll go another lap. So, legs still bother me, but um, I'll deal with that in a day or so. Uh, <coughs> one of my YouTube pain in the ass has sent me a uh, thing for some kind of compression socks. So maybe I'll look into those. So yeah, the uh, pain in the butt for loading this van is going to be uh, loading that. Loading that. Loading that. Loading that, loading that, 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 and that, and those, and where were those damn disc drives are, right here, that's all the heavy stuff. Um, the rest ain't nothing. So, I'm probably going to put the hard drive and the disk drives in the front behind the seat. Um, and then I'll pile some of these smaller totes and some of these buckets on top of those. Um, and then I'll put some of the other totes with the boards in them. These are all AMD, so I'll probably put those in front of those. Um, and then figure out where to put the power supplies with no wire. Uh, the power supplies with wire always go in the back, uh, across the back axle. That's the most weight, almost a thousand pounds. Um, and then when I get down there, they just pull a Gaylord box over and I just throw them in there. They bring it right to the van, so it's kind of easy. Just gotta do them, you know, one or two at a time. Uh, Seamus is up there hanging out. Basking in the morning sun. <coughs> so, I'm gonna mess with that little bit of wire here. I was looking for that duct tape yesterday. It's sitting right there. So, get this cleaned up. Get this out of my way. Um... And then I'm going to try to go through some of this stuff today. Um, by the grace of God and a great friend, I have acquired the funds to go buy that e-waste. Um, but before I buy it, I want to personally go up there and look at it. Because uh, like, like I said, my buddy went up there and... Uh, you know, looked at it and told me what was there, but uh, for that amount of money, I want to go and put my eyes on it and make sure it is what it is. <clears throat> um, if it's not, then the money goes right back to my friend. So um, that money's already in my bank account. So a great big thank you to that person. Um, much appreciate it. Uh, if this goes through, it'll be a 
nice uh, amount of stuff and should be a decent amount of uh, profit too so hopefully we can uh, make a deal here and get that done uh, the problem is I have to uh, when you take large amounts of money out of the bank you have to give them a call <clears throat> and they have to actually order the money that you want and that could take three to five days so um, I'm hoping that maybe I can do a run up there like Friday or Saturday look at it um, the guy's had this stuff for five years so it's not like he's in a big hurry to get rid of it and then um, by next week the funds will be available for me to go pick up and uh, we can get this hammered out I'm thinking about renting a uh, uh, Penske truck like Shark Scrapper did with the lift gate on it. Uh, but we'll have to see what transpires there. Um, I think it's. I'm trying to think now. I think it's two boxes of motherboards. So that's two. Box of PCI cards. Three. A box of hard drives. Four. Two pallets of laptops. Um. It's like 500 PCs, something like that, like a crap load of PCs, and the two barrels uh, supposedly have the RAM in them. So I'm going to need a decent truck. The guy has a tractor with forks on it so he can load everything in the truck, but I'm probably going to have to rent a pallet jack with the truck too. <clears throat> then once I get them here, um, I can use this. Hopefully this will pick up a box of uh, hard drives. I don't know. We'll have to see but um yeah I physically want to take uh, some empty barrels with me um, suppose we you know he has two barrels full of uh, ram sticks I want to transfer them from his barrel to my barrel so I can make sure it's ram sticks all the way to the bottom and not some bullshit so that's my plan for today is just uh Sorry. <coughs> so my plan today is to load this crap up, head out the board short in the morning, um, and then figure out where I can put all this stuff in the garage. So everything might get shuffled over a little bit. And like I said, I can, uh, the buckets and stuff, I can stick them under shelving and stuff like that. Pile them up on top of this crap. Put them up there. All of this is garbage, but I can't get rid of it because I don't own it. And they want it on the property. So if I ever move out, they can put it back into the property. Why well, you want non-working appliances in the property? I don't know. But that's their stuff, so I can't, can't argue with them. It is what it is. So, that's about it. I'm going to uh, just try to make a spot in here so like I said I, I probably won't be able to get this stuff until like sometime next week but um so far it's it seems to be a go um like I said I told my other buddy to because he was going to call the guy today and tell him you know we were ready but I have to let him know that it's, you know takes a few days and like I said I want to go up and put my eyes on it and see exactly what it is <clears throat> before there is a penny given to anybody because that's a big ass loan so the squirrels are crazy so that's my plan so I'm going to get my butt to work I got to wait for the uh, store to open because I ain't got no orange juice I'm having withdrawals. Terrible. <clears throat> so, with that being said, appreciate y'all. Stay safe. Keep doing what you're doing. Ouch. And I will talk to you all later. <laughs>